If you receive project drawings in the form of a PDF file, you can reuse that PDF data in your own AutoCAD drawing files. For example, imagine that you're a landscape designer and you receive a PDF file for this building project. This particular sheet includes a floor plan that you want to use as a starting point for your landscape design. Viewing the sheet in a PDF viewer, you can see that this particular floor plan is scaled at 1 to 200. In AutoCAD 2010, you can attach the PDF file as an underlay to your AutoCAD drawing. If the PDF file includes multiple sheets, you simply choose the appropriate one during the attach operation. Since this floor plan was scaled down by 200 in order to fit on the sheet, I'll go ahead and scale it up by that same amount to use as a background at true scale. After the PDF file is attached, you can use a variety of PDF tools to control its display. When you select a PDF underlay, the context-sensitive ribbon automatically displays the PDF underlay tab. As the landscape designer, you are only interested in the basic floor plan. To simplify the drawing, you might want to crop the underlay to only display the building plan. After creating a clipping boundary, you can use grips to invert the clip area or modify the boundary. To further simplify the drawing, you can turn off some of the extraneous layer information within the PDF underlay. With the PDF geometry as a background, you can then begin drawing your own AutoCAD geometry by snapping to existing objects. Just ensure snaps are enabled. If you have difficulty distinguishing between the PDF underlay and the actual drawing geometry, you can control the fade, contrast, and monochrome display, or hide the underlay altogether.